Mount Specifications Mount, M42 Screw Mount Focal Length, 50mm Aperture Range, F-1.4, F-16 Minimum Focus, 0.6m Weight, 304g Filter Thread, 55mm Data Source, All Photo Lenses, Lens DB Collection Information Date Acquired, April 25, 2019 Serial Number, 5434088 Purchase Price. $40 going price, $150 condition, some scratches to the chrome but otherwise beautiful. Lens review, mechanically the lens is practically jewelry, like a precision made Swiss watch it feels absolutely perfect, the focus on my copy is silky smooth and the aperture is easy to operate, the chrome finish isn't the most inconspicuous color and unfortunately my copy has some noticeable scratches, the only real flaw is the decision to hide the aperture number inside a cutout instead of visible on the outside of the barrel like most lenses. This makes changing aperture more difficult than most lenses since you have to make sure to light like directly at that cutout in the side of the lens. In the end, I can forgive all of this because it just looks so damn good. When it comes to lens performance, the Yashinon DX 50mm f 1.4 is a fantastic lens. The center is plenty sharp wide open and this extends surprisingly far into the corners, the netting is present but not terrible for a 50mm fast standard, contrast is a little low at f1.4 and there's the usual haze but the lens is perfectly usable at f1.4, stopping down the lens is tack sharp by f2 in the center but even by f4 the corners never really improve, the lens is surprisingly flare resistant which is most likely a result of the inclusion of thorium elements, the bokeh rendering eye smoother than most 50mm standards but the simplistic six-bladed aperture results in distinct hexagons being rendered. In use the lens is pure joy, the focus, the feel, the look, it's all just right, the lens does feel large in your hand when compared to other vintage lenses but is still much smaller than modern equivalents, the cutout aperture window does get annoying but I never found it to be that big of a deal, the lens does feature an auto, manual switch for the aperture so you don't need an adapter with a lip to engage the aperture pin, overall, it's just a fun lens to shoot with. something up about the body later. The optical block was loose in the lens barrel, and decades of Schmutz had entered the workings. The aperture was oily and the focus helicoid was dry. A total overhaul was called for. Fortunately, the optics were reasonably well preserved. There were a few tiny scratches, aka cleaning marks, on the front element, but nothing deep enough to cause image degradation. I went to the web to find any info about disassembly and cleaning, and set about to return it to its former glory. I thought I had done a decent job of it, the aperture was clean and snappy once again, and the focus helicoid felt consistent and smooth. The glass surfaces cleaned up nicely and it looked like a great lens. Then I tried to use it. It wouldn't focus to infinity. In fact, it wasn't even close. I remembered marking the position where the focus helicoid left the threads, and I had returned it to the same entry point. I soon figured out that there was another thread of weight that must be backed out just enough, prior to reinstalling the helicoid that I had overlooked entirely. bodies did not have the option and required full manual control of the iris. Similarly, many M42 adapters for digital cameras don't have a flange to keep that pin depressed, and that's when the switch comes in handy. Just slide it to M and you have full control regardless of the adapter.